Just as I was rejected the first time I will be rejected the second time. Monday, June 4, 2012 at 3.20 p.m. My dearly beloved daughter very few of my chosen people, the Jews, accepted me as the true Messiah when I came into the world and died for the sins of mankind. This time very few Christians will realize it is I who speaks to them now before I come the second time. They will believe the lies which sprout from the lips of liars, the false prophets whom they will love, while they will reject me with a hatred that is at odds with their love of God. Just as I was rejected the first time I will be rejected the second time. You must not feel sad at the way I am mocked, kicked, punched and my messages ridiculed. For such hatred against my holy word can only come from Satan. If Satan's fury becomes intense as it is now then you can be sure that he worries about the souls I intend to save from his clutches. Block your ears. Look straight in front of you and focus only on me. Every kind of attack will be hurled at you, my followers, to stop you from following me. Every argument against my word by those who boast of their expertise in holy spiritual matters must be cast aside. They do not have the Holy Spirit in their souls for they are not worthy because of the sin of pride. Just as I suffered the scourging at the pillar so, too, will I suffer again as my holy word now is torn apart with hatred by those who want to ensure that my word is rejected. I say to those souls now. If you will not accept my hand of mercy to save humanity why do you hold such hatred in your hearts? Don't you know that you are being tempted by the evil one who wants to blind you to the truth? Hatred, calumny and slander do not come from me. When you allow those vile sins to overcome you, you do not love me. You will come back to me when you come before me during the warning if you have the humility necessary to ask me to forgive you. If you do not remain silent now you will suffer and your remorse will leave you weak and trembling before me. How you wound me. How you make me suffer. You scourge me just as I was scourged the first time. Yet you say you are a holy disciple of mine. You are a cause of great sorrow to me. To my followers I say ignore these taunts. Do not open your mouths or engage with those who show anger, hatred and who claim, at the same time, to love me. How can you love me when you do not show love or patience to one another? You are hypocrites if you scourge another in my name. Now the time is ripe for the second rejection, no different from the first time. The ridicule will mean that those self-proclaimed holy disciples will mock my prophets by trying to trip them up by questioning their knowledge of scripture. My prophets do not understand scripture and they will not defend my word. Yet these so-called holy disciples, just as it was during the crowning of thorns on my head, will try to make my prophets look stupid and unworthy. Then they will go to great lengths to name and shame them while professing, at the same time, how knowledgeable they are of my teachings. The bullying will continue until it will be relieved after the warning when these souls will realize the error they have made. They will weep and suffer because of this but I will forgive them because I love them. But then many will not repent. They will inflict terrible suffering and persecution on my end-time prophets. Not for one moment will they give up. Every hurt, insult and assault will be hurled at them in my name, Jesus Christ, Son of Man. They will deny me, through my holy word given to them today, right up to the end. Then they will be given one more time to accept the book of truth. They will either accept me or reject me. Then I will gather all those humble souls who love me and the new heaven and the new earth will merge. Those who still reject me will be cast into the fires of hell. I come one last time to save you. Open your hearts and see that it is I, Jesus, who calls you now. 
If you cannot see this then you need much prayer to enable the Holy Spirit to truly enter your souls. Remember those who are blessed with the Holy Spirit do not insult others, commit calumny or spread hatred against God's children. They do not want to control God's children. They do not break the Ten Commandments. Your Jesus.